welcome back to another video if you saw my one of my recent videos i said i was going to show you what slow cooker meals i'm going to be making on my working days now today is a tuesday i'm in the office today i've got about 10 minutes before i need to leave and i'm going to throw this slow cooker meal together and then we're going to have a look at it when we get back tonight and see what it turned out like it's a gorgeous day absolutely beautiful day now let me show the ingredients and we can chat while i'm doing it so that's all the ingredients in i'm just going to switch this on at the plug and then leave that on low all day. I've got a cup of tea and it's after work on Tuesday. And this is the slow cooker, which has got our evening meal in it or part of our evening meal. Now I put the video on this morning and started filming me making this up and some of it I captured. Then my daughter came over and started talking to me and I switched the video off and forgot to switch it back on again. So I'm going to tell you now, we are making today honey mustard chicken in the slow cooker. So the days that I'm in the office and not here, um, during the day it's going to be miles easier if I can have a slow cooker meal sometimes they will be complete one pot meals where they are just everything's in the slow cooker and there's nothing to add to it tonight I'm going to add some brown rice which I'm going to do in the instant pot or the electric pressure cooker um, and I'll show you how I do that so all is not lost I've shown you the footage hopefully by now from this morning and I'm going to tell you um, what ingredients are actually in this slow cooker and then we'll have a look at it together I was a little bit worried um, that it was going to be on for so long all day because I've been out since, well, early this morning, half seven, this went on. And it's now like, I don't know, half five, something like that. And it's it's literally on low all day. I was given a really good tip from my best friend. She said, Tracy, why don't you go and get your timer? We have got a timer somewhere. I haven't yet found it, but I'm hoping to find that so that I can just put it on the slow cooker. So I can put the slow cooker on just for the afternoon or whatever when it's only calls for a shorter cooking time. Anyway, this was supposed to have been on high for three hours or low for six hours. So it's been on a little bit longer. We'll have a look at it together. Whilst I'm looking, I will tell you what the ingredients were that I put in this morning. I've actually still got the pots here. So we used this morning, we've got the chicken. It's obviously in the slow cooker. Four tablespoons of honey. This is the only honey that I've got at the moment, which was actually a gift, um, which is perfectly good timing. So four teaspoons of honey two tablespoons of the whole grain mustard and that is so clean because i used some of the water we made some stock and i used some of the water to shake that out and get all of the mustard that i had left in there equivalent of two tablespoons a, a tablespoon of italian seasoning um four cloves of garlic i just used the lazy garlic that you can see there some fresh basil which is probably in the italian seasoning as well to be fair and then i used one full stock cube and 200 ml of water to the stock cube what we're going to do is add some corn flour to the mix now and also we got some i normally get um like aldi's own or tesco's own uh, soft cheese this philadelphia was on offer so i'm going to use this i'll probably just use a full tub but you want about 90 grams and a full tub is just over 100 i think um so i'm not going to just leave that in the, in the tub or else it won't get used this morning i just bunged all of the ingredients in the slow cooker chicken was raw with the skin on and just popped it in a full chicken breast well too and this is what it looks like now what we're going to do is add the um, corn flour a tablespoon of corn flour we're going to make a little slurry to thicken up the sauce and also the uh philadelphia so the soft cream cheese so that actually looks just oh it's it's no it's not it's tender it's just colored the chicken so these are all the herbs from this morning and the garlic I'm going to turn this over, whoops, and then this can just literally be shredded. That is more than cooked. It is so tender, it's unbelievable. So I'm going to use the corn flour and the soft cheese, add it together, and then shred all this chicken with two hands because I can't do it for one. And that'll become the chicken in the sauce for tea. I'm going to serve it with brown rice and some spring greens. I think I've got some broccoli left or something like that. I'll have a look, but it can all be done in the instant pot. I've shredded it up with a fork and a spring, so that's all I've got handy. And it looks so nice. It smells delicious. It's lovely and hot. And I must say this, so I said this is two chicken breasts. I've taken the skin out, by the way, and I've just put it there. Um, I will give that separately to my husband, but the kids don't like the skin. Um, two chicken breasts in here, but the chicken breasts that we've got are from our home-raised birds, and they're absolutely huge. So it's probably four standard chicken breasts um if you're getting them from the supermarket that's kind of just your average size all i'm going to do now is literally open the philadelphia or the soft cheese and add it in and just stir it in you probably don't need to to be honest because it tastes really nice as it is but this is going to make it creamy and you can serve this over mashed potato or rice or just veg depending on what your preference is we're going to go for rice tonight 
Um, tomorrow is going to be a full one pot meal and then we're going to have a cauliflower rice on Thursday, which I've never had before. Um, so we're going to try and have a lower carbs on Thursday because we're trying to do that. Um, you might have seen in a previous video when I talked about what the meals were going to be for the week. I'm doing a calorie control diet just at the moment. So this is in my calories. It says that this is 339 calories per serving and that includes the cream cheese. So I'm definitely going to be having that. Just making sure this is recording i'm not making that mistake again so literally i am just going to put the cream cheese in straight from the tub it doesn't want to come out that's lovely mixed in now i'm just going to leave this on the warm setting while i get the rest of the meal together the instant pot rice is really really quick if you've not made brown rice in the instant pot before um it's ha very hands off it's not necessarily really quick sorry basmati rice in the instant pot is really quick that's like six minutes brown rice um in case you've not had it before it takes a lot longer to cook but it's very hands off you just put it in switch it on and leave it be Normally, I just take one cup of brown rice to one cup of water because these cups are one cup and 250 ml. I know there's a difference in the US, but this is what I use. I'm going to wait today to tell you how. So there's about 200 grams of rice there and about 250 ml of water is how much I'm going to use. And then I'm going to put the instant pot on for 28 minutes. Sounds like a long time, but like I say, you literally don't need to do anything for it. So I tell lie, I do just over one cup of water. Now rice swells up quite a lot, as you will know. If I do two, I'll do two, just over two cups of water to two cups of rice. I've taken a teaspoon of corn flour, just literally, uh, not a teaspoon, half a tablespoon, and just stirred it in, just to thicken it up ever so slightly. I'm not sure if it needed it, and I didn't put in the full tablespoon, but we will see what it's like when I serve it up now. A very warm welcome to Tuesday morning's slow cooker meal. I've brought out a slow cooker with a few ingredients in it from the pantry. We have got a tin of plum tomatoes and a tin of prunes in juice. We're doing a beef, potato and green stew. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to keep it quite open um, for people to do. I've got my diced beef here out of the freezer. This is inexpensive cuts of meat. Um, this is something that we have got ourselves from a friend because we don't have beast here um but we do get them we buy it and when we bought the beef we whole different story there so we're no longer buying beef because we're replacing it with what we grow here on the small holding which is lamb i've still got beef in the freezer and when we bought it from our friend we bought it in bulk and then i just um we got the big five kilo bags and i just um put it into smaller 500 ish size bags and froze them flat if you freeze them flat it makes a big difference um to how quickly they defrost i forgot to get this out of the freezer last night i'm adding two stock cubes i forgot to get it out of the freezer last night um which happens quite often and all i do is put it in a um bowl of cold water if you submerge the flat piece of frozen packet into the sub into the water Within an hour, it's defrosted enough to be, if not completely, it's defrosted enough to be pliable to use. So that's just gone in at the bottom of the slow cooker. I'm adding in two stock cubes. Now the potatoes you use are entirely up to you. It, this is fantastic with sweet potatoes, but we have got an abundance of white potatoes, which I think you guys know also in the fridge. You can use um, fresh prunes, a full tin of prunes in juice. It's entirely up to you. I'm using a full tin of prunes and juice. You could use just a few if you would use, you know, the remainder in something else. You can use onion or leeks in this. I've got leeks and I'm actually going to put in white potatoes whole because, as I've said before, I'm trying to avoid making slow cooker slop and I haven't got my timer. Last night we were busy out in the garden. I was going to grab that timer. I didn't and it's too late now because we need to leave for work and school very soon. Let me show you what I'm doing down here. So in here, I've laid the potatoes, the beef, the leeks. I've added in a tin of tomatoes, a full tin of prunes, a tablespoon of sweet paprika, a couple of squirts of tomato puree, and I've just put in the bay leaves. Checked the time for any creeper crawlies because this is fresh from the garden. We're good, and I'm just adding that in. With the peeled um, tomatoes, these are plump, but all you can do is just chop them up yourself if you have to chop tomatoes. And I've just used a little bit of water to rinse that tin out 
and just to give it a bit of liquid. That is everything. Later on, we can thicken this with gravy granules or with corn flour, if we so desire. I'm just gonna get those down there a little bit. You don't want too much liquid in a slow cooker. That is it. I'm gonna leave that on for tonight and hopefully that will be absolutely delicious. That's staying on low all day. It's early morning now. It's about half past seven. And I don't know what I'm doing that for because it didn't even look. It's about half past seven. We're about getting ready to leave. And this won't be picked up again tonight until about five-ish. Forgot garlic. I'm going to add that in now. There's not much left in here. So I'm just going to add a, a little bit of water in there. Give it a shake and put some in. It's about, well, the recipe calls for that I'm going off. Um, calls for four cloves of garlic. So I'll just put what I think is the equivalent. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. If you like it a lot, add more. You know, use your own judgment. So I'm going to add that in now. Just giving it a little bit of a stir just to make sure that garlic's underneath and the herbs are incorporated and then that really is ready for tonight now so i've just got home and i've been and picked some spinach fresh from the garden you can tell holes and all and that's nice and clean and i'm going to chop that up and put it into the slow cooker that is the greens that i referred to this morning when I said that we were having um, beef stew with greens. So I'm just gonna chop it up, put it in there for a couple of minutes. I haven't looked in there yet. We'll do that together in a moment and we'll see how we're getting on. I'm gonna put the stems and all in for this because it will wilt down um, to nothing. Haven't got that much. You could use, um, I've got perennial kale. I could use any of your kales, but they would take a little bit longer cooking and we want to eat as quickly as possible. Let's have a look together. Let's check the potatoes. Oh, they're definitely done. Or at least that one is. Definitely good. Okay. Give that a big stir. I don't think that is even going to need thickening because it's got the white potatoes in instead of sweet potatoes. They act as a thickener. You can see how tender that beef is as well. So we're good to go there. Good morning, welcome back to the last day of slow cooker meals this week. Well, it might not be, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but the last day that I have to commute to work and need to get a slow cooker meal in. Today, we were supposed to be making, or we are making, um, what was it called again? The honey, hang on, honey garlic shredded chicken. Now, I went to get the chicken thighs out last night that I was supposed to be using for this recipe and remembered that I'd used them for something else when I did a whole big batch cooking session. So I got out um, what I believe is a turkey breast instead. It definitely is a turkey breast, it's ginormous. We processed our own turkeys last year, I think it was, losing track of time. Anyway, it's a huge breast and it must be six, 700 grams. So instead of using the chicken thighs, I'm just gonna put this in whole because over the day that'll just cook through nice and slowly. And the bigger it is, the longer it'll take to cook down, which is good for the slow cooker, as you guys know. I did a recipe similar to this the other week and I think I might have shown it but I didn't show the full process and I'm aware that this is like another shredded meat recipe which I didn't think when I picked the recipes for the week. That's fine. We enjoyed Tuesdays so I'm hoping that we're going to enjoy this shredded meat recipe as well. Last night's beef recipe um, turned out really nice in terms of it wasn't slop because I'd left those potatoes whole which is obviously my worry and thank you for those of you that have given me recipes to try. I really appreciate that. Um, we just didn't enjoy it as much but at the end of this video I will talk to you about the three recipes we've made very briefly and also show you I'll also show you what we're doing um, with the veg that we haven't used in the veg box to preserve it to make sure it doesn't go to waste so I'll hang fire for the end of the video once you've looked through the slow cooker meals that we're making there's the turkey breast in the slow cooker this is just a standard size slow cooker I think are they like three and a half litres three or four litres I'll try and confirm if I can um, this is just the crock pot make, by the way. It was cheap as chips. It was like £10 when they used to be dead cheap. Anyway, the ingredients that we're using, we've got tomato puree. We've got more of the honey. I try and stick to ingredients that are similar, uh, recipes that are similar ingredients through the week so that I don't end up with loads left over. Um, so the garlic, we've got a little bit of that left. I'll add some water into that, give it a shake and tip all of that in. Um, the reason that I'm adding hoisin is because it'll be really nice, but also, again, I've got some to use up. So I, when I use certain things, I try to plan the recipe around finishing them off just some soy sauce we picked up from one of the cheap shops 
and Tabasco sriracha, sriracha sauce, use whatever you've got. I would use sweet chilli or something like that if I didn't have that. And I'm just going to get these ingredients into here and leave this on low all day. I'll put that on now just in case I forget because that has happened before. Now, the ingredients in this recipe, there's not much liquid except for the soy sauce. There's no broth in it. So what I'm doing is just adding water with one hand to this garlic um, and just giving it a shake so that it loosens everything up in there. And I'm going to probably use half of that. I'm just a little bit concerned about slow cooker drying out. I've never had it, um, but when I'm not home and the slow, co slow cooker is on, I know that's a concern of some people. So it'll just burn on the inside, if anything, and it'll just ruin the food. And obviously we don't want to be wasting any food. So I'm just going to try and add half of this. All the garlic's actually sunk, so I might not. We'll see how I get on. So in here, I've put the four tablespoons of honey, some sriracha sauce, a good squirt, probably about two or three tablespoons. I'm going to add the garlic in just now, like we've said, and I've tipped in, I don't know, maybe five tablespoons of soy sauce, something like that. Um, that's what the recipe calls for. So I think I might have put a little bit more and then I drizzled some of the hoisin sauce in there as well. I've also given a good squirt of tomato puree, which is what you can see there. And I've put this, the skin is on this turkey breast. I've put it skin side down. So I'm gonna add in the liquid now, put the lid on and leave it for the day. <sighs> Well, it's later on on Thursday night now. I actually had a splitting headache when I came home. The joys of working in front of a computer screen all day. So I just grabbed some footage of what it looked like. It was absolutely fine. It hadn't dried out at all and it's been really nice. I didn't need to thicken the um, sauce with any corn flour. I just literally shredded the turkey and um, just mixed it all in and there was just enough. I'll show you what's left now and I'll also pop on what it actually looked like when I served it up. Out of the meals that um, we've had this week, I'm going to tell you in a second which one we preferred. So this is what's left. There's actually still quite a bit left, probably at least one serve in there. So I will get leave that to cool and then I'll pop that in the freezer or somebody will no doubt have it tomorrow. I took the skin off and just put it separate. Nobody wanted that tonight. So that was served at least, I would say, six portions out of this one turkey breast because Stephen had enough for two people and the kids and I had, had one each and there's obviously the portion left. Out of the meals that we had, so Tuesday we had the honey mustard shredded chicken. Wednesday was the beef um, stew with potato and spinach. And tonight was the um, honey garlic shredded, well, it was supposed to be chicken, but it was actually turkey that we did. Now, my favorite was tonight. So I really enjoyed the flavors of the soy sauce and the garlic, etc., etc. Stephen's favorite was the honey mustard um, shredded chicken that we had on Tuesday. The beef was everybody's least favourite. We won't be doing that again. It was all cooked very nice. It just wasn't a particularly nice flavour. I'm wondering if we did it the day before and it cooled off and then reheated it, that it might be nicer. It might be one of those meals that's nicer the second day. Next week, I'm going to see what other meat we've got in the freezer because we've got an absolute load in the freezer that we need to get through. Um, there'll be more lamb on the menu again next week. Just incidentally, in case you're wondering, there won't be any fish or anything like that showing on at any of these meals because I don't have any in the freezers and I'm not buying in meat um, for these slow cooker meals. The whole point for me is also getting through the freezers and the meat that we've got in there and there's no fish in there that I can remember anyway. Um, and the other thing is there won't be any nuts in these in these recipes because we've got somebody with a nut allergy in the family as well. But for now, those are the slow cooker meals that we had this week. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. I will get more into the hang of um, filming them and getting the right angles and things like that. But I hope it's a little bit of insight and you can see what you can make in the slow cooker and it gives you a little bit of inspiration to try. Even if, you know, it's not a recipe that we necessarily enjoy, it might be something that you enjoy. But I will see you very soon. I'm going to sign off for the evening on this video and I'll be back tomorrow for me.